Now with regular graph paper, we can use a pretty simple technique to get a decent isometric drawing. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be pretty good and good enough to get us started. So if I want to draw my object, this cube, in isometric perspective on regular graph paper, you'll notice first off that regular graph paper has lines that go straight up and down, just like the isometric drawing paper, but it also has guidelines that go straight across, and we don't really want that. So we'll kind of ignore those guidelines for now. And instead, we will just use the vertical guidelines of the graph paper. So just like I did with the isometric drawing paper, I'm going to start at the bottom corner here, and I'm going to come up to the top corner. I'm going to use a scale of two line segments per side, just like I did before. So each line is going to be two line segments on my graph paper. So I'm going to go up one, two, and I'm going to make a dot at each of those points, each of those corners, just like I did before. Now the trick here with regular graph paper is that I'm going to get this line at the correct angle or really close to the correct angle by just counting over two and up one. That's going to give me this corner back here at about the right angle. It's not going to be a perfect 30 degree angle, but it's going to be really close. And you can see if I connect those lines that I've got the start of my isometric drawing for the face, the front face of the subject. Now I need to draw this line that goes up. Again, with regular graph paper, that's really easy. I can go up one, two, and draw my line there. And then I can connect those two lines together. So there's the front face of my object. Now I want to make the right side of my object. So same kind of thing. I'm going to count over two and up one, and I'm going to make a dot there. That gets me back here. I'm going to go up one, two line segments here for this back line and then I'm going to come back over here. So when I connect those dots and fill that in that gives me my right side. Now you'll see that this is a slightly different angle than what you get if you were using actual isometric drawing paper but it's close enough for what we're doing. Now just like I showed before I want to be able to draw the top face of my object. I've got these two lines already so I'm going to go over one two and up one on this front face and that gives me that back corner of the object back there. I'll just connect that line here and that line here and that gives me my top face. So that's how we can do a pretty good isometric drawing using standard graph paper. Again, once you get used to doing the technique, start using a ruler because it will really improve the quality of your lines.